May. There was a response to expression of interest by Barclays Bank, which I think was the best description of this. What they said was, no long-term standalone cap-and-trade financing is possible until four threshold issues are resolved. First, CARB and high-speed rail must prevail against pending legal challenges to the cap-and-trade auctions and to the use of uh, greenhouse gas reduction revenues for the high-speed rail project. Second, the authority must create what they call the plumbing in law to support borrowing against the greenhouse uh, revenues. Third, the legislature and CARB respectively must extend the cap-and-trade program in law and regulation beyond 2020. And finally, the legislature must protect the 25% of GGRF revenue flowing to the authority from future impairment by the legislature as long as financing obligations are outstanding. I think that's the clearest description of what they felt the private sector's view of the use of the greenhouse gas financing is. 